Hey y'all, welcome back to Caitlin's Corner. So we are still celebrating Race Your Mouse Day, which is August 28th. And today we've got some mouse books, of course. And this one is Who's Shoe? Whose shoe is that? Is that that mouse's shoe? I don't know, let's find out y'all. So if you're ready, we're gonna get started. There's something in that tall bamboo. What's in that tall bamboo? Can you spot anything? Oh my goodness, it's a shoe. I found a shoe up there in that tall bamboo. Finders, keepers, uh, that's not true. I'll find the owner of this shoe. Wow, that little mouse wants to find the owner of the shoe. How sweet is that? Tiger, I have found a shoe. Who has lost it? Was it you? Was it the tiger? It wasn't I. As you can see, that shoe would be too small for me. My feet are dainty, but I know my claws need space if they're to grow. So, Tiger said it's not his shoe. But someone's lost it, don't you see? For him, that's a catastrophe. He might still have the other shoe and be unhappy, wouldn't you? I'll try to find him. I'll pursue it. It will be good if I can do it. So Little Mouse is trying to find the owner of that shoe. Was it Tiger? No, not Tiger. Spider, Spider, I have found a shoe. I know it's way too big for you. Still, I want to be polite. I'm asking everyone in sight. I see your mother taught you well. You've got good manners, I can tell. So, it's not really spiders, but he's gonna ask, just be sure. My shoes are tiny, you're right. I always tie the laces tight. If I lost one, I'd be upset. Spider's shoes are hard to get. I have eight. I take great care of all my shoes since they are rare. So Spider has all her shoes. It's not hers, is it? So we shall continue. A bird, is this your shoe? I think it might belong to you. Hmm, is it me and the birds? That shoe would be too big for me as I fly high from tree to tree. It might fall off on someone's head. I leave my shoes at home instead. It's very nice of you to try, but shoes are useless if you fly. So she doesn't need her shoes to fly. It's not mean of birds. Hippo, have you lost this shoe? I found it in the tall bamboo. There's one thing I find hard to take when I'm standing in my lake. I hate that mud between my toes. I'm rather fussy, I suppose. So I wear shoes, I have four pair, and I don't really need a spare. I want to thank you for inquiring. Your honesty is quite inspiring. So was it Hippo's shoe? Not Hippo's. We shall keep trying. Hello, I found a lonesome shoe. Someone lost it, was it you? Was it Elephant? We'll find out. <clears throat> I'd never wear a shoe like that. I like high heels and that one's flat. These high heels make my ankles trim. They make my legs look really slim. So thank you, but I must decline. My high heeled shoes suit me just fun. So was it elephant? No. What kind of shoes is elephant like? High heel shoes, not flat shoes. Good morning to you, kangaroo. I found this handsome, lonesome shoe. You think it's kangaroo's shoe? Oh, goodness 
me. That is my shoe. I threw it into the bamboo. I have to say I am astounded that you actually found it. It hurt my foot. That made me cross. I gave the shoe a hearty <coughs> toss. Would you like to have this shoe? It's not worn out. It's still brand new. So whose shoe was it? It was kangaroo. But it hurt her feet. So that's not good, is it? So she threw it up to, into the bamboo. <gasps> Thank you kindly, kangaroo. That's so considerate of you. I know exactly what to do with this handsome, lonesome shoe. So kangaroo gave the shoe to the mouse. Who says that shoes are just for feet? I'm glad my search is now complete. The stars are shining overhead. I'm happy in my king size bed. So what did mice make out of that shoe? Mice made a bed. So I like how that story turned around. So shoes aren't always for wearing according to mice. But he worked hard to try to find the owner. So I hope you enjoyed whose shoe. Thank you for tuning in and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.